Hello everyone. Welcome to session 38 of Software Testing Made Easy course. In this session, we are going to continue with the software testing basics, where I'm going to explain the different type of software that exists and what category of software we generally perform testing. So let's get started. There are different types of software guys. We can classify the software into different types. That is three types majorly. One is system software. One type of software is system software. Other type of software is uh, programming software. And the other type of software is application software. Like this, you can categorize the software into different types, system software, programming software, and application software. Out of all these things, which category of software that we generally test that I'm going to explain. So before that, let me give you the examples for each and every type of software that I have mentioned here. So coming to the first type of software that is a system software. So here the examples are operating systems, OS, okay? The software behind the OS. Let's say in this machine, I have the Windows OS. So the Windows OS is also a software guys, which falls into the system software category and uh, also some driver software. When you generally connect some devices like mouse or something to your machine, right? Like uh, let's say Windows machine or something, you can see some notification coming up saying that some software is getting installed. That is nothing but the driver software guys. Once you connect the mouse to your machine, some kind of driver software will be installed in your machine. Then only your mouse will start functioning. So all this type of softwares like OS uh, and driver software. Coming to the OS, uh, what are the different examples of the OS software guys? Like Windows 10, Windows 7, Windows 8.1, Linux, Ubuntu, Mac OS, all these things fall into the OS softwares. Do we generally test this kind of system softwares? No guys, it's very rare, right? Very, very rare. Like uh, I've not seen someone testing this kind of system softwares, okay? It's not that much uh, relevant. Now coming to the next type of category of the software guys, that is uh, programming software. There are a lot of programming languages in the market, right? Like starting from C, C++, Java, Python, Ruby, Perl, and so on, right? A lot of programming languages. Each and every programming language has its own compilers, interpreters, and many other things, right? So these compilers and interpreters are also the software guys, okay? Uh, compilers and interpreters are also the software which fall into which fall into this programming software category. Okay, so do we test this kind of compilers and interpreters? No, guys. Okay, generally software testers won't be testing this kind of system software or programming software. So, but coming to the application software, this is what guys. This is what type of software that uh, generally the software testers actually test. If you go to this Amazon. Okay, it's a web application, right? Amazon, amazon.in or amazon.com, whatever it is. It falls into the application software category. So this kind of applications that we get for testing guys generally, okay? Not system software or programming software. Software testers often test, okay? Often test application softwares. Amazon, WhatsApp, uh, it can be Facebook, it can be desktop, mobile, anything guys, but application softwares are like this. Okay, Amazon, WhatsApp, Facebook, Skype, MS Office, all these things, okay? So uh, these are like application softwares. These are application software. This is the area, guys, where actually the uh, software testers actually test, okay? Most of the projects fall into this application software category, fine? It's very rare that uh, you see some software testers testing the system software or programming software, but uh, almost all software testers generally test application software like amazon.com, WhatsApp, Facebook, Skype, et cetera, et cetera, okay? So hope you understood guys. Hope you understood what exactly are the different types of software and uh, examples for each and every software. This basic knowledge you should have guys, okay? When you are performing some software testing, right? Uh, if you have this kind of basic knowledge, that will definitely help. So that's it about this session guys. Thank you, bye.